Montgomery Area High School is innovating 21st century arts and giving Montgomery a voice. Located in Montgomery, PA, the Montgomery Area School District is a forward-thinking example of what public education can be. With a population of less than 1,000 from pre-K to 12th grade, the school continually chooses to embrace its size and focus its strength in teamwork as well as in the creation and implementation of innovative programs and curriculum. We aim to challenge students to work beyond a grade, encouraging them to value work and the quality of final products. We are not limited to an assessment. We are motivated to go beyond it. Above all else, when my students leave me, I want them to be proud of their work and to be able to take accountability for their work. In T04, what's so great is that we always are able to work beyond a grade. It doesn't mean that we don't take grades seriously. It doesn't mean that we don't have written expectations. But the great thing about communications and the arts is that we're always working for an audience. I really believe that every time a student can work for someone else to see their work, that they will do better and their grade will take care of itself. One of the greatest things about our virtuoso program is that we not only get the um, on-stage experiences of our characters, we get the off-stage experience of our characters. We as directors consider ourselves teachers before directors, and so we work very hard to make sure that all of our students have experiences in the real world that connect to what they're doing. For example, when we did the Miracle Worker, we brought in people from North Central Site Services to do a dinner in the dark with students were blindfolded and had to actually experience physical blindness. We've also taken students to the courthouse when we studied 12 angry jurors, and we've brought in different people to come and work with the students because we feel that a show is not just a show, but a learning opportunity, and the things the students can learn from doing a show, they can take with them far beyond what they do on our stage. Two years ago, we presented an original show titled Service, and it showcased the talents of our theater and songwriting classes. This year, I have the pleasure in directing a play that I wrote called Three of an Unlikely Kind. In our theater classes, once we're done with our assignments, we usually get to put them into practice. For example, I recently taught a sixth grade class uh, what improv was and that really opened my eyes to what a teacher has to go through every day and what a classroom really feels like from the teacher's perspective. Here in Montgomery we have a lot of mentoring opportunities. Right now I am mentoring eighth grade students on the ins and the outs of broadcasting. So, um, these are so many great student teaching opportunities that we have here including what I do with Virtuoso and Virtuoso Junior. And of course, there's always an audience to what we do. There are a lot of people who care about this program, and I'm so glad to say that I won. One of the most impactful ways we grow our student opportunities and experiences is through cross-curricular projects. Our theater and broadcasting programs go beyond the traditional programs found in many schools that have been working together for the past few years to develop Montgomery's interpretation of what art means in the 21st century. While many schools limit the meaning of art to just the visual and performing areas, we endeavor to teach our students that communication is also an art form. Here at Montgomery, we try to integrate not only a technology balance, but to teach kids how to correctly communicate with other human beings so that when they do go into the real world, that they know how to hold a conversation. To better ensure that our students' needs are all met, we have decided to section our broadcasting class into four parts. The Raider Review focuses on more weekly news, Raiders on the Road focuses on our real world application, and gets students that real world working experience. The Raider Talk digresses into more serious matters, and the Raider Reel highlights our documentary and short film projects. While knowing technology and social media are necessities in our lives today, 
we aim to show our students that we can positively use our social media handles to deliver the news um, to every platform so everybody is informed. Have a vision. Be fearless. Believe in yourself. Always hustle. Stay focused. Get inspired. Get out there. Get motivated. I, I am a Montgomery athlete. athlete. One of the great things about our theater classes is our improv lessons. They teach us everyday skills and soft skills that is very necessary to have for everyday life. Schools like Montgomery Area School District, uh, small rural schools, we have under a thousand students in our school district. We uh, have challenges in providing all of our students with a well-rounded education through uh, budgetary deficits, um, having enough staff to cover all areas of our environment, yet we have a community that embraces education and a school board that promotes uh, innovation in education. Our teachers have a wealth of energy and knowledge and caring for our students. And through that, we have been able to work collaboratively and uh, use technology and prepare our students for the jobs of the future. One of the great things about being in this smaller school is the amount of support given. For instance, I am in Virtuoso, marching band, and I participate in tennis. My directors support me in everything I do. Recently, I have gone to regional band. The amount of support given by the students and teachers of Montgomery was absolutely outstanding. So supporting other people is one of my main priorities when I go to school. Um, I'm in football and I'm in Virtuoso, our theater program. So I'm always making sure that I can support other people when they're trying to better themselves uh, by being a better character or singing a song a different way, adding different inflections and nuances to their songs. And I'm always supporting uh, people on the football team because I'm new to the football team this year and I know what it's like to be a new person and just give tips whenever you can and just support people and help them be the best they can. Something that I've always appreciated in our uh, music program is that we have always been able to choose certain things that we like to do and it's always heard, it's always applied and no matter if you're into like super classical stuff or you, if you have a talent for rock music you have the opportunity to be able to do that stuff and from what I've experienced in those schools that's just not always the case. The reason I love Montgomery so much is our vocal opportunities. Yes we don't have a chorus program but we definitely do have vocal classes that are during school hours which helps with a lot of people and we're not really traditional in that way. Right now in my own vocal workshop class we're going over Italian and operetta and even with our concerts that we put on we have Bach and Rock and Singing on the Edge where we can perform and be ourselves. I get murdered in the city for 
read the letter in my desk Don't bother with all my belongings But pay attention to the list Make sure my sister knows I loved her Make sure my mother knows the same Always remember there was nothing worth sharing Like the love that let us share our name Always remember there was nothing worth sharing Like the love that let us share our name In terms of our communications department of arts, we have received numerous awards in that category. But our experiences go beyond the awards, as recently we were able to go to different news stations like Eyewitness News, Channel 16 News. I mean, yeah, the awards show us the dedication and sacrifice hours we put into what we do, but for us being a small school, being recognized at a state level, and even at a national level, and like I said, a school like us getting overlooked for being so small, the community being so small, being recognized on a national, a national level really shows that no matter how big the school is or how small it is, you can really do anything you set your mind to. As a parent of a student in Montgomery Area School District, um, I think these kids have a great opportunity presented to them with the arts that are within our school. Our kids learn so much through these programs. They learn collaborative um, working with other children. They learn um, self-direction. They have responsibility. They also are able to do a lot of problem solving together which is very beneficial beyond the high school years. When I first added broadcasting into the curriculum guide, I had no idea how quickly it would become one of the most popular elective courses that we offer our students here at the school. So much so that we've basically had to offer additional levels every year since. I credit this to the vision of the teachers, the dedication of the students within the program, uh, and also the quality of the product that they turn out. In addition to contributing to a positive cultural change in the school, I would say there are two areas that really stand out. The first is the way in which our broadcasts have helped to open up the school, showing the positive things we have going on here to our surrounding communities. The second is the way that all students taking the course are able to find a voice and success that may have been missing elsewhere. The skills learned, like time management, meeting a deadline, and interpersonal communication will benefit them far beyond their days spent here at Montgomery High School. These are just a few examples of Montgomery's dedication to fostering arts in the 21st century. Thank you for taking the time to learn about innovating 21st century arts and communication at Montgomery Area High School. Want to follow our projects? Check us out on YouTube at Red Raider Tube and on Twitter at MASD News.